All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into it. Today we have the epic showdown of the Pixel 7 versus the Pixel 6a. Which one should you go and spend your hard-earned dollars on? Well, in this video, I'm going to be discussing that right here, giving you the pros and cons of each device. And I'm actually going to make this much more simple than you might expect. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. The Pixel 7 versus the Pixel 6a, which is better? Let's hop right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's just get this out of the way. Both these devices offer exceptional, not only performance, screen quality, cameras, and also ecosystem because they're both part of the Google ecosystem and Google's applications and all the other devices that Google makes, such as their earbuds and their HomePods, or not HomePods, and their uh, Google Assistant devices are exceptional. I'd even, go above and beyond and say they're better than Samsung's and also Apple's in terms of AI. So let's talk about which one of these devices you should actually get, because if I'm being honest with you, there's so many similarities with these devices other than price. Uh, this one goes for around like it's $599 and this one uh, I believe is $449, but I'm going to be honest with you. I got these used off Mercari, like used new condition. This one for around $400 and this one for literally only $200. This device is practically brand new and the fact that I picked this up for 200 bucks is like actually insane. But if I'm being honest with you, they both run the same screen technology almost in terms of OLED panels, 1080p. The only difference there, only difference, and this is one of the deciding factors you need to think about, is this is 90 hertz and this is 60 hertz. 90 hertz uses more battery. However, the battery is larger in this device. So this is one of those things that's like really big, like as a consumer, do you really care about that fast refresh rate? If you do, this is an easy option. Just go with the Pixel 7. Now, if you don't really care too much, Google's animations are all right, right? They're not like as good as Samsung's or, or Apple's transitions and animations, that sort of thing. But if you don't really care too much and 60 Hertz is just fine for you, go with this one. And because they're the same resolution, screen resolutions, this one's slightly smaller than the Pixel 7. This one actually is technically sharper and you can sort of tell a difference when you're watching videos and stuff like that, but it's a small, it's a small difference. Um, so if you care about 90 Hertz and a smoother refresh rate, Pixel 7, easy choice. Battery life, I'd say it's slightly better on the Pixel 7 just because it's larger and it's also rock, rocking that Google Tensor Chip Generation 2. This is the only, this is the Gen 1 version of the Tensor Chip. So battery efficiency is not as good as on this one. It's a little better on this one. It's pretty straightforward. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the screen on this one is slightly bigger. So if you care about bigger screens, this one's a better choice for you. But if you're looking for like a little compact Google phone, I, I believe this is the smallest phone Google's made in the past couple of years, other than the Google Pixel 5. But this one's pretty compact and it offers a decent size screen over six inches in size. This is also a great option for you. Uh, cameras, I don't know if I hit on this yet, but like cameras, honestly, like it's getting so great now with Google's AI software. I'm, I'm gonna say like, if you want better zoom shots that capture more detail, Google Pixel 7, but honestly, this phone, the camera's phenomenal because it's most of the image, e even though the sensor's smaller and outdated on this one, Google's uh, AI like makes images and videos look phenomenal. If you care about video, I'd probably go with this one just because the sensor's bigger and video stabilization and, and it, it retains more detail in, in videos overall. But cameras, it's a it's a toss up. Google Pixel 7 is probably my recommendation. Um, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, like hardware, they're both like glass off of wireless charging. Um, I believe like the glass on the Google Pixel 7 is like stronger than the Google Pixel 6a. So if you care about like more shatter resistance, Google Pixel 7 is probably for you. Um, both USB type C. One thing I really want to hit on is audio. No one talks about like phone speakers anymore and I don't know why. Um, the Okay, this is, this is so strange to me, but like I find the audio on the Google Pixel 7 kind of tinny. Um, it's weird. It, there's adaptive sound in settings on this one. It's not available on this one, which I find really weird, but like there's this adaptive sound feature that can kind of like tune your sound profile depending on like the environment you're in. I found it does help a little bit, but I'm just finding that like the audio on here, the speakers, it doesn't sound like really full. Um, 
it sounds almost a little distant. And I think the biggest hit I notice here, the biggest downside is like with vocals. Vocals just don't sound like really crisp. Like it doesn't sound like someone's speaking into dynamic microphone. If that, that's the best example I can give here. Like it sounds distant, like someone's microphone is far away and they're speaking into it. So it's kind of like comparing like a webcam microphone to like a podcast dynamic microphone is, is what I'm trying to hit on here. But like the speakers on this one, the Pixel 6a, I honestly thought were better and it doesn't even have that adaptive sound mode. I don't know if that's because this phone is just smaller in general and like the sound is becoming more like muffled or echoed in this one because it's larger. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on, on sound profiles, but I'll, 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 I'll honestly say the Pixel 6a speakers sound slightly better than the Pixel 7s, which doesn't really make any sense. But like, other than that, I kind of hit on this earlier, but like these phones are so similar in so many different ways other than price point. I honestly think the Pixel 6a is phenomenal for what it offers and for the price. Like if you can get this thing like use new condition for the price I got it at $200. This is like phone of the year right here. But if you care about the 90 Hertz refresh rate, if you care about slightly sharper images that retain more detail, rely less on AI to make them look better, Google Pixel 7 is the choice for you and slightly better battery. But that's gonna be it for this video guys between the Google Pixel 6a and the Google Pixel 7. Hope you guys found this video useful. Hopefully this helps you with your phone recommendation or what you think you should go out and spend your hard earned money on. So if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers. We're a little over 700 at this point, but thank you so much for the support I've been receiving guys. I appreciate literally every single one of my subscribers who watches my videos, comments, likes, shares them. I appreciate all you guys. And uh, we're continuing to grow, continuing to pump out amazing content, continuing to film and up the quality of the video and audio and stuff like that. Like right now, I love this setup. I think it looks super clean. Um, so with that being said, see you guys in the next video. Peace out everyone. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. If you're interested, click over here to subscribe to the channel and click over here for another amazing tech video review slash tutorial. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Appreciate all you guys. See you in the next video.